Okay, so we've all seen photos of celebrities with their extensions showing and secretly wondered, that's not gonna be me, is it? <laughs> with these tips, never fear, we're gonna show you how to keep your extensions discreet. First of all, adding volume to your natural hair on top will support and cover your hair extensions underneath. So I like to begin with a volumizing product at my roots. My favorite volumizing product is Body Mass from Kevin Murphy. Body Mass uses hair growth technology to encourage your scalp to produce longer, thicker hair while visibly plumping the hair that you do have. It also lightly conditions without weighing down your hair and protects it from the heat of hot tools, blow dryers, and UV rays from the sun. Now, hair loss runs in my family, so thickening and hair growth products are an important part of my styling routine as a preventative measure. I wanna keep as much of my hair as long as possible. So, I'm gonna spray this a couple of times where I know that hair loss is very common for women. So a lot of women tend to have hair loss in the temple area here and here. Thyroid conditions, hormonal conditions, and genetics often make you start thinning in this area first. You can spray this anywhere you wanna see more natural hair growth, and you wanna hold it about six inches away. It's a very light mist, so it gives great coverage. Next, I like to add a powder texturizer to my hair for grip. My favorite is Powder Puff from Kevin Murphy. Not only is the bottle super cute, but the dispenser part of the top has little holes that make a tiny little smiley face. This is so you can control how much product you want to use um, by covering parts of it with your fingers. A little bit goes an incredibly long way with this product, so be gentle. So to start, I find where the top row of extensions are in my hair and pull out that top part, leaving my extensions underneath. Now that I have my hair on top above my extensions, I have weft extensions in right now, as you can see, I have that all pulled up. I'm going to take my texturizing powder and lightly tap it right around the edges, just like that. Next, I take my teasing brush. This is my best friend for covering up your extensions. And I'm going to lightly back comb right around the edge. Just that first little inch or so, just like that. This creates a little barrier that protects your hair from showing off your extensions if the wind were to blow. And it also gives you a little bit of volume. So that way, guess the wind comes in, tries to separate my hair, my extensions aren't gonna show at all. Sometimes if you have really short natural hair or a blunt haircut, your extensions don't blend quite perfectly at the bottom. You may have short layers sticking out. This is because your extension stylist can't put extensions all the way down at the bottom of your hair across the nape of your neckline. But here is a styling hack to hide those pesky short pieces. Go ahead and grab all of your extensions and pull them all the way up. Once you pull up all of your extensions, you'll have the last bottom layer of your natural hair that falls out. So I'm gonna put this up into a high ponytail. That way these extensions are out of my way. And now I've got just my natural hair falling through the bottom. Sometimes your hair is even shorter than this. So this hack is gonna be able to hide all these little hairs. I'm gonna grab a small elastic and tie it right at the base of my neck as close as I can to the bottom of my hairline. And I'm going to pull it through twice. And on that last turn, I'm only gonna pull it through halfway. So you'll have a small little bun at the bottom of your neckline. So I've got a small bun right at the bottom of my hair. That way, when I pull this all back down, you can no longer see my natural hair coming from the bottom of my extensions. Next up is everyone's favorite question. What is the best way to wear my extensions up without them showing? Well, lucky for you, we have tons of tips and tricks on how to do it. I'm going to be demonstrating how to do a high and sleek ponytail without your extensions showing. And I'm going to be doing a cute, messy bun. Here are the tools that you're going to need. First, you'll need your detangling extension brush. And today we're going to be using our crown extension brush. And you'll also need your teasing brush. 
We also have two different types of hair ties. We're going to be using the Invisibobble and a scrunchie. The Invisibobble is clear and it looks kind of like a telephone cord. We love that these have the added benefit of not putting a crease in your hair. And the soft fabric scrunchie tends to be a little looser, which is perfect for sleeping. And the fabric also prevents any possibility of them getting tangled in your hair. I always recommend this type of scrunchie to my guests with finer hair. They are also super cute and sometimes they make a good little accessory on your wrist too. For a sleek ponytail, I start by pulling out the hair around my face in front of the extensions. And then I slightly back comb using my teasing brush on my natural hair, just like this. Not too much, just soft little strokes right near the base. Just like that. Then I flip my head over and let gravity do the work for me. Because I have weft extensions, or if you have tape and extensions, we like to say you can wear high, low, or no. They, the extensions flip up completely and they stay down completely. But if you try to pull them sideways, it doesn't work as well. So I like to flip my head completely over and let gravity do the work for me, just like that. Now that I have my hair pulled up, because I'm going for more of a sleek ponytail, I'm gonna take my normal brush and brush it right back gently. Not combing out the back combing I did earlier, just brushing my hair right over my extensions. Just like that, creating that softness, looking in the mirror, making sure that you can't see my extensions, kind of manipulating that a little bit. Then I take my Invisibobble and pull right through. Once, I'm gonna do twice three times, eh, another one, why not? Let's do it, right on top of my head. Then I like to take my thumbs and pull that hair out. I love a nice big ponytail, just like that. Kinda check, extensions are showing, we're good. If you have little short layers on top of your head, I like to grab those and simply take them and just wrap them around my ponytail holder like that. Wrap, wrap, wrap. It looks super cute, super sleek. Covers all those little shorties that want to stick up. And then I simply just tuck it in. You can even take a bobby pin. Whoops. Take a bobby pin and tuck it right in just like that to cover up your elastic. Then from here, Take my brush again, just smooth it out a little bit. Just like that. Check, make sure everything is pulled back nice and slick. And there you go. That is how you do a high ponytail with extensions and you can't see them at all. Messy buns are just my thing, so that's what I'm going to show you next. Even though I do have eye tip extensions, which are an individual method just like K-tips that have 365 degree range of motion, I still like to flip my head totally over just so this very back layer will cover up my extensions. So I'm going to flip my hair and use my fingers as a rough brushing because I'm not looking for something super smooth like Jenna's sleek ponytail. I want something a little bit more textured and messy, hence the messy and messy bun. I'm going to leave my bangs out of my bun because they are a little bit shorter. One, because they don't fit into my hair, but also so that it has a little bit of a face framing and it points out the features that I really like. So I'm just checking in the mirror to make sure my sides are covering my extensions and I can use my fingers or a looser brush to rearrange that hair just to make sure. Or if you have fine hair, you can back comb slightly in front just like Jenna did with her ponytail just for a little extra insurance. So for this look, I'm going to take my little scrunchie and do my messy bun. I'm going to pull my ponytail all the way through for the first one, twist it around and pull only halfway through for this. There's a couple different ways you can do a messy bun. 
um, you can just stop right here and have it like a little rainbow on top of your head or you can make an opening and pull the tail through the center so that it's hanging out um, with just a couple of bobby pins and wrap this around so that you have a little messier of a look. It doesn't have to be super neat. Again, this is a messy bun. Um, you get to create a lot of different textures, pulling it different ways, spreading it out, fluffing it up. You can pin the sides down, pull extra ones out, and it also kind of hides your extensions really easily so that you have that rainbow sitting right on top of your head. And can you show us how to do pull that back side through yeah. like you mentioned? So this long tail that's coming right back here, you can part your center right in there and wrap it through and then pin it around. And now you kind of have like a little bow sitting on top of your head. And then you would put a bobby pin right in there. You get to take that hair, pin it around, fluff everything up. Again, it's a messy look, so it doesn't gotta be super neat. Mm -hmm. I like that how messy buns look with extensions. They're so full and big. It's like, you can't go wrong with them. You can literally throw it right up on top of your head and it looks cute no matter what. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another look I love to wear with extensions, especially because I hate washing my hair super often, <laughs> is a half up, half down style. I love this look because it covers up my extensions that's right on top. And if I wanna throw a little dry shampoo in there, I'm good. So to create this look, I'm gonna take the front of my hair and create almost like a V shape on top of my hair. I've already back combed my hair around the face, kind of like I talked about in the high ponytail where I showed you. Um, so I'm just gonna pull that hair up around my extensions, straight up like that, pulling my extensions down on the sides there, kind of using that hair in front to slightly go backwards and cover them up on the sides, just like that. I'm gonna take my little teasing brush like this, kind of comb this hair back, up, pull that up. Again, pulling my extensions down the side, making sure that that hair in front is covering. Once I get my hair up just like that, gonna take my little Invisibobble and I'm gonna do a little messy bun too. I'm just going to pull it through a little tiny bit like that, little baby bun, wrap it around. Do, 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 do. All right, and again, because I like to have big hair, I like to have a very exaggerated bun. Super cute, it's like a little rainbow. It's like, like a little rainbow on top, exactly. Yeah, that's super fun. Do that, I could eat, I've even been known to like throw a little clip or a little bow here and look like a little Pomeranian. I've totally done that before too. Yeah. I love that look, but this is a great way to keep your extensions covered on the sides, but also pull that hair back into a cute half up, half down style. So remember, high, high low, low, or no, low. when it comes to wearing tape in or weft extensions. If you're wearing your hair up high, flip your head over and let gravity do the work for you. Also, your teasing brush is your best friend when it comes to hiding your extensions. Use small, gentle strokes to create small barriers in your hair that cover your extensions so that no one has to know unless you want them to.